This is the future. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Before we get to the video, here is a short disclaimer for you guys. Please take note, all repairs and reviews are done by myself for myself and on my own products and property. I fix problems as I find them and I do a first impression review on products that I buy. So if you have a question for me on a product or you have a complaint about a product, I apologize if I cannot give you a proper answer. Remember if a product is faulty, please take it back to where you've bought it. And if there's any other problem that I have never encountered before, I will try and find the answer for you. Anyway, let's get to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're having a problem with the Runix. Um, I think the battery is going. I've been struggling for the last two days to get it started. Um, today twice, it didn't want to start. It was standing still for about two hours. Okay, it's starting now. But it was standing still for about two hours just now and when I came back, it's just flat enough not to start. So what I have noticed is that the one battery pole is a bit loose, even though the clamp is as tight as it can be. So I'm just going to show you quickly what you can do if your clamps are loose and not making proper contact. Because I don't think it's the battery as such. I think it's more to do with not having proper contact. So let's go to the front and see what's going on there. Okay, looking in there, it's your battery indicator. It still shows green, so that's what tells me that the battery isn't really the problem. Though, we've got some stuff here. Uh, I don't know what a good word for this is now. Um, Umpoxel, sediment, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna wash this pole clean. And you guys can see it's, it's on. But the positive side, even though the clamp is totally closed, it still moves around. And I think that is where our problem is. So the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to take off the poles, and we're going to clean them with boiling hot water. And we're gonna take some steel wool, and we're gonna clean them a bit proper. Let's first do that. Okay, this is a size 10 spanner, uh, 10 millimeter. So, um, just see the side comes loose very easily and this side ah oh, there we go as you guys can see it was really tight so I don't know why it's so loose but I'm going to show you now what we're going to do to fix that little problem okay here we've got some boiling water and we're just going to pour it over to clean that compound or acid or whatever you want to call it off. Just like that. That uh, cleans the poles from the acid build up. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. I'm going to take some sandpaper. I'm going to sand here on the sides of the pole to get it all clean. And then I'm going to take a screwdriver and just bend this clamp open a bit because it's not coming off the pole. I think it bit into the pole making a groove. So I just need to take a screwdriver and bend it open a bit to get the pole off. And then we're going to use sandpaper on this side too. And after that, we'll use some steel wool. So we're just gonna do that. Um, let me, 
I can't hold the phone and do that, so let me do that. Okay, you guys can see that groove that it was bitten into because of this. Um, but you guys can also see now that it's nice and clean. So I used sandpaper, I sandpapered it smooth, and I used steel wool and just went over it a little bit. The next thing I want to do, as you guys can see, it's really rusted in there. I'm going to take this round file and just going to clean out terminals on the inside. Okay, see the difference the file has made? It's actually shining now. You can actually see the copper. Same with this one. So now I've uh, filed the inside nice and smooth and clean. I also took a steel file and just tried to fix the plane that's making that noise. It must be a plane. It just sounds weird. I almost thought I'm gonna show you a UFO. Oh well. Weird. Anyway, so I took a flat file and just filed the terminal a little bit to see if I can get this grooves a bit more shallow. So now the last thing we are going to do is we're going to bend open this tips a little bit more, see if we can get a file in there and file off a little bit of the clamp to make it a bit, the, the gap a bit bigger and if the file doesn't work we're going to use a grinder and see if we can cut a little bit more into the groove. Making the groove wider or bigger means that it will clamp stronger when you clamp it back. So let's just first see what happens with, if I can get the file in there. This clamp is actually so soft it bent open so easily. Uh, I'll show you guys. Ha! Ha! Let me show you. So all I did was this. Making the gap a bit bigger. should do the trick. Let's put the nut back on and see if we can get that clamp to be you know, really tight and not move around. Well, there we go guys. It's on. It's on. None of them are moving. So they are 100%. Other than that, there's nothing more you can do for them. Uh, you can get those uh, nice spray that you can put on that protects it from that um, acid buildup, but other than that, there's nothing you can do for the battery. It's a sealed unit, so you can't replace the battery acid. And um, if by tomorrow morning, we'll see what it does. If by tomorrow morning, if the car doesn't start again, then it's the battery. Then it's obviously not the, the contacts or the terminals. Then the problem lies with the battery itself. Then I'm gonna have to look at replacing it as soon as possible. Let's see if the car starts now at least. Okay, let's see if it starts. The only downside now to the whole thing is that you have to reset your entire radio settings, reset your clock and all that. I think it started even better than it did before. Okay, so it starts now. I'm gonna adjust my radio and uh, then let's see tomorrow morning. If it starts without any issues, then we'll know if we want it or not. The next day. Well, good morning, guys. This is the moment of truth, and time to see if this car is going to start on its own. Wow, actually started quite nice, no issues. Before I did the batteries yesterday, it was like gee, 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 gee. now it's just starting. Okay, so then I guess the problem was definitely the terminals. So uh, cool. Three days later. So the car was dead again and I replaced the battery. Hey, what else can you do? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, whatever you do, keep it safe.
Cheers.